Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. Today we will have a look at another website of the day from awards.com. This time we will deconstruct online portfolio of a very talented photographer, Ali Sharaf. Let's go to the awards website, search for awards on Google and get to the awards.com and see what is the side of the day today. It's Wednesday 15th of June and looks like Ali Sharaf portfolio is the website of the day and that's what we'll look at in this deconstruction. The average score 7.6 means that the site must be pretty cool, very high creativity and design as well. So let's check it out. Nice fading in on a page load and then some scrolling animation if we scroll down the images are going from top and bottom and intersecting in the middle and the menu has also some cool effect of zooming into the logo and some background image cropped in so we'll look at how that cropping of the a was created and we'll check out few other animations okay but let's start with the initial animation on a page load where everything fades in and see how that was created. If we look at the animation section inside of the dev tools, you'll see that there are four elements that are fading in, that have the CSS animations on it and they're fading in and also the div with a class background is transforming. So we've got a preloader and the opacity is changing from zero to one the same thing on the arrow and the logo in the middle of the page and the background is transforming as well. Okay, so we've got the opacity 0.8 seconds with a linear ease and this is the preloader and background inside of it that has a background image applied to it. Now let's have a look how the A was created, how the zooming into the A when we click on the menu was created. So I'll inspect the element and search through the DOM elements and we'll see that there is a project list that is that we can hide for now. And we can now find out what's happening with the scaling of the logo. And you can see that the logo has a two additional classes, rotate and scaled. So it looks like CSS animation is again making the transition so if I disable the transforms, we'll see the logo animating. So there is a transition of opacity and transform applied to the logo, which has a cubic bezier easing on it. And the duration is one second and 2.5 seconds for the transform. So one second for opacity and 2.5 for transform. And if we inspect and expand the logo inside of it, we have a SVG and canvas. Okay, so there are two elements. If I hide the canvas, the image is disappearing, which means that the image, the masking is happening on the canvas. And inside of it, we have the logo SVG, but that's just a reusing and another element from definition. So if we look at above, there is a SVG devs, which has three SVGs defined. And if we open it, there's a G, so group with ID logo that's been reused inside of the logo itself. And if I quickly dump it into a plain code pen, you'll see the shape of it itself. I just have to remove it from the devs so we can see it in the browser on the white background. So I'm just removing the devs from around the group ID logo and that should show up in the results page results pane yeah good and I can just change the height so make sure we can see it without scrolling change the height to 300 pixels and this is the shape okay so that's been reused and looks like the image is rendered on canvas so the canvas has a background image applied to it so the image must be coming from somewhere and if I view the page source, zoom in a little bit, we'll scroll down where the section is, projects list. 
and inside of it we have a bunch of links and each of the links has a data index and data mask applied to it okay so the data mask contains a url to an image that's then rendered on the canvas okay so if i open this in a new window or new browser tab you'll see the first image and that's what you see when you open the menu for the first time okay so that image is being rendered on canvas using pixie.js the moving of the image is on a page load is using inline style so this is definitely using some javascript animation library and we'll see the green sock icon enabled or green in here that means that the site is using green sock for this kind of animation and when you look at the code when you inspect the code inside of the dev tools you'll see plenty of animations happening so not just the two images inside of the view but all of them are moving on a page load okay so this is what's happening all of the images inside of the page view container are moving on a page load so there must be some timeline happening and if we look at it again open the page diary section and then scroll down you see how the all the assets are starting to move and after a while they move into the specific position and stop okay so how long does it take okay i don't want to wait here for the whole animation to finish but you get the point this transition or this animation is using greensock timeline if i look at the source and try to see what files are loaded we'll again see that it's using WP content, which means that the site is on WordPress. And if I open some of these uploads, these are images loaded on the page. And inside of the theme build, we've got the admin.js. The site is also using GSAP split text plugin and also the pixie.js for rendering the images on the canvas. And that's it all for today. Hope you found this deconstruction useful. If you've got any questions or feedback, leave them under the video. And also if you've got suggestion for next deconstruction, leave them under the video and I'll try to deconstruct it next time. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in my future video. Until next time, happy coding, bye.